I'm almost ready to unleash myself onto the three-gun scene in 2011. I hope Pete Brown can spell my name right when I get on Three Gun Nation. If not, I will go on Facebook and talk shit about the only show that is dedicated solely to promoting my sport. What the hell are you talking about? What? You didn't notice the misspelled names on Three Gun Nation? Hell no I didn't. The only two guys on there that anybody even recognizes are Jerry Mikulik and Bruce Pyatt. LMFAO. What? What the fuck does that mean? So did you come here to make statements about random things or did you come for information from guys like me that think we are the best three gunners in the world even though we have never won shit? Oh, right. I'm getting really excited about my first three gun match. So much so that I almost forgot that I need help getting my shotgun set up for three gun. Do you have a pistol and rifle already? Yes. I have my badass Glock 22 that the popo don't want no mo. I got my DPMSJP Triangle Firebird Bushmaster, Saber Defense, Loki, AR-15 built. I just need to get a tricked out shoddy. Shoddy? Oh fuck. I forgot who the hell you were for a second. Yep you're back. The prince from Kingdom Dipshit. Do you realize how gay that word sounds your highness? It only takes you one more fucking letter to type shotgun, and then it sounds like you don't have a slit between your legs. Uranuum, okay that is what the cool tactical operators on that other forum called it, so I thought it was cool. Yeah those guys on the other forum are real cool. Shit they aren't even tactical operators of their own decks. So if they are so cool why do you have to come over here to learn anything about three gun shit? Okay. If I remember correctly you said you were going to shoot TAC optics, right? Actually, you said I was going to shoot that poser anybody can do it division. I wanted to shoot E-man, because I'm just that, a uh, E-man. Fucking hell. Oh yeah your cheap ass wants to shoot 80 cents per round rifle ammo and 50 cents per round pistol ammo, so you can save money by using your $300 home defense pump shotgun. The Mossberg Roadblocker is a very legitimate home defense weapon. Recent tests show that the shotgun has penetration characteristics that are perfect for home defense situations. Well, Lottie, fucking duh. I could care less about overpenetration unless Bubba is gonna be getting out of jail sometime soon to come fuck some sense into you. Now that kind of overpenetration would make me happy because this is a competition shooting thread. Sorry, I like to get all tactical and shit every now and again. Eight ass baby. Oh my god. Okay so instead of my road blocker I think I want to try the 930 SPX. Yeah go buy a gun that comes with only 7 plus 1 capacity when everybody else has 8 plus 1 capacity. That sounds like a win-win situation for you and your dumb ass. Why don't you go spend $1,800 on a Benelli M4, because those are so cool to on other forum. That would be an even better gun because it cost more, right? In fact it cost more than any other Takai cool shotgun out there, but it can't hold enough ammo to play this game. What should I get then? I really like Mossberg, because I hear they are working on a new 3 gun ready shotgun that will only cost like $150. $150 for fuck's sake. They will have to sell about 1,000 of them just to pay for Jerry Mikulek's contract. If you want a good gun I would take a look at the Benelli M1 or M2. The FNHS LP is also doing very well. If you like to work on your gun every stage you could pick up a Remington 1100 really cheap. I think I will go with the Benelli. How much do they cost? A brand new Benelli M2 will cost you $1,200 out of the box. To have it race ready like the rest of us, you will have to spend another $200 minimum and up to $600 if you want all the go fast parts. Wait a second, $1,200 for the gun and $600 for parts? That's like $1,700. I can't afford that, yeah it's exactly $1,700. Jesus H Christ you are thick in the head. How did I know you were going to say something stupid like that? Tell me something do you plan to actually shoot any major matches this year? I mean you must plan on it if you are going to be on 3 Gun Nation every week, right? Hell yeah. 
I'm going to start with Superstition Mystery Machine, then I'm off to play in the caves in Kentucky with the hillbillies, then I think I will go shoot the Iron Man, then, wait. Stop right there. Let me get this straight. You plan to shoot every major match next year, yet you aren't willing to spend the cost of attending just one of those matches on a good quality shotgun? You do realize that the shotgun is the most troublesome gun of all three guns, don't you? Shotgun are troublesome? I have run at least 300 rounds through my 870 during dove season over the past 10 years. I have never had a hiccup. 300 rounds? What was that you said earlier? LMFAO oh, fuck, you're dumber than you sound. I just found a used HNKM1 on Gunbroker for $300. It was a police trade-in. It has ghost ring sights, pistol grip stock and an 18 and 1 half inches cylinder bore barrel. Is that the perfect tactical division shotgun setup, or what? I'm stoked. Holy shit captain. You are actually dumber than my ex-wife. That is fucking hard to believe too. What a fucking second. Is this my ex-wife fucking with me? You bitch if that's you, I'm gonna fuck your sister again, I'm not your ex-wife. I swear. Please help me, I'm just a newbie, oh shit okay sorry. Back to your M1 police trade in. That shotgun would be the perfect canoe paddle with those options. Don't get me wrong you can run anything in 3 gun, but that thing would take more work than an 1100 to get it running, like you need it too. Since you are going to be shooting more matches than the Novesk shooting team you better get your shit straight, damn it. Okay so what barrel length should I look for on my Benelli? I really like the 18 inch barrels for the CKB stuff. Can I get an SBS? That would be totally tactical in tactical division. What choke do I use? Do I change up my barrel to a slug barrel mid-stage to shoot slugs? How do I hit anything with slugs in a gun with no rear sight? Oh man. This is more confusing than the purpose of all those rules in IDPA, oh my god. I have taken shits that were smarter than you. Everybody runs the 21 or the 24 inch barrel. Get yourself light modified choke and run that on everything. When you get a little more experience on 3 gun nation you might just MGHT think about trying a diffusion choke on the hoser stages or a tighter choke on the longer targets. What front sight should I get? Who makes the best magazine extension tube? What tube fits flush with the end of the 21 inch barrel? How about the 24 inch barrel? Should I get an extended bolt release? How about the bolt handle? Arma goddamn getin. Arma goddamn getin. What did I do wrong to deserve this onslaught of stupidity god? Do you have no mercy? Get a high vis front sight. Call Nordic components for a magazine tube. They can help you with the length too or maybe go to their website and break out your tape measure and figure it out for yourself. Wait, no. There is no fucking way you can read a tape measure. Who was I trying to kid? Nordic Components has the bolt handle you want too. The Dave's Metal Works bolt release is great and the Redundo works good too. Shit did I answer all the stupid redundant questions that somebody else just asked last week? Did I already ask about a rear sight? Armageddon. Yes you did, and I didn't answer on purpose. Now you can never ask ever again. Once you get your gun go shoot it with every brand of slug you can find. That will help you find a slug that has the same POI as your POA once you have that figured out have someone put a 10, 20 tour rear side or a XS big dot rear wedge side or just a fucking little hole or groove in the back of your vent rib. It's that fucking simple for the rest of us, POA? POI? What does that mean? Vent rib? I gotta get a vent rib? That doesn't sound very tactical? Maybe I should shoot open and get a Sega? You definitely went to the all-you-can-eat buffet of stupid questions last night and took a huge to-go box for this forum. Thanks for that. I'm fucking out. Armaya fucking getting.